Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about Google Docking. So all of you might be familiar with the Google search engine that how Google search engine works but have you ever been thought that what else we can search by using Google. So just for example let me ask you one question that if you want to find out all the admin pages of all the websites which are present inside the Google database do you know what the query is or what you will type in Google search bar? So another example is, so what if, if you want to find all the public IP webcams in Google or even if you want to find out the MySQL database passwords of all the websites by using Google, do you know what you will type in in the Google search bar? So our answer is Google Docs. Now let's see what are Google Docs. So Google Docs are nothing but just some special keywords or a special search strings which we can use in order to get the desired output from the Google database. So we can use Google Docs in order to fetch uh, interesting information from Google. So there is one website called as exploitdb.com. So this website contains a database of called as Google Hacking Database. So in this Google Hacking Database, there is a collection of Google Docs which we can use in order to get some interesting information from Google. And all the Google Docs which are present inside this Google Hacking Database are founded by various security researchers. Now let's see how we can use Google Docs in order to get some interesting information from Google. Now let's see how we can extract some useful information from Google by passing malicious strings into it called as Google Doc strings. Well, the Google sports various parameters or operators which we can give in order to find some interesting information. So the first parameter we can give is called as site. So site parameters will list out a particular information of a particular website only. So just for example, I have written here site then colon. So if I just write here any website name like tutorialspoint.com, hit enter and here you will see that each and every link of this page is of tutorialspoint.com. So this is the one operator or one parameter which we can use in order to find out a particular information of a particular website by using this site operator. So the next operator is file type. So we can also use this parameter called as file type in order to find out a particular files present in that website. So if I just write here file type and you can write down any file type like doc, PDF, XLS. So I have written here PDF and if I hit enter here you will see that it has listed out all the URLs which contains PDF files and here you can see one of them. So we can also combine two three parameters to make our custom string which can be used in order to find out a particular data. The next parameter we can use is called as in URL. So in URL parameters return a particular string which is present in that URL. So let me just erase all this thing. So if I just write here in URL then here we can specify a string or a we can specify a particular path which will be present in all the URLs which Google will return. So just for example you want to find login pages so you can just write down here in URL admin login dot php and here you will see that the Google will list out all the links of admin pages of a different websites. So you can see all of them here I am op opening these pages in the next tab you can see here and each of it is admin control panel. So this is how we can use in URL parameter. So the next parameter we can use is called as in text. So in text is used to find out text in a particular website which means if I just write here in text and if I just write here hacking then it will list out all the websites which contains this word in their body. So you can see here each and every website contains this word in their body. So this is how we can use in text parameter. Now let me take you to the database of Google Hacking Database which is maintained by ExploitDB. So ExploitDB.com maintains a Google Hacking Database which means all the Google Hacking Docs 
is actually stored here in the database of exploitdb.com and here you can see the Google Hacking database and if I scroll down you can see here that all the Google Docs strings are actually divided into different categories like the strings for web server detection, strings for file containing passwords, then strings for error messages, strings for vulnerable files. So if I click over here files containing password then here you will see a list of Google Docs strings which we can use in order to find out the files which contains password and here you can see all the Google Docs strings. So all these Google Docs strings are actually founded by various cybersecurity researchers and once they found the string then they post it inside this Google Hacking database. So just for example let me select this one the first Google Docs string and here you can see the Google Doc description. So here is the Google Doc string and what it does it's actually find out the password of MySQL database uh, so let's do one thing let me copy this Google Doc string and let's open google.com here and then let's just paste this string and let's see what we got so you can see here that it has listed out uh, various websites which contains MySQL database password and if I open this tab here you can see the password so the d database name is invisible so username is also invisible and db1 password is visible so you can see here that we can also got here authentication keys secure key uh, so similarly you can see here the database user the database password and you can check here that the auth user is also present the auth key and various access tokens so this is how google doc works now let's try some more examples So if you want to protect your website from Google docking then make sure that you disallow important directories or files from Google by adding them in robots.txt file on your server. So what, what else we can do is we can even find out various online devices. Let's check that what are the Google Docs strings available for that. So here you can see Google Docs strings. So let's just check here webcam. So here is that Google Doc strings. So what else you can do is you can even combine this Google Doc string with that site parameter in order to find that whether that site contain this Google Doc string or not. And here you can see that it has listed out all the webcams of various countries so you can see here a webcam and here you can see the same webcam and it's saying that contacting IP camera. So this is how we can use Google Doc in order to find out interesting information. So in this video we have covered that what is Google Doc strings and how we can use them. So thanks for watching this video.